Ever since I was in third grade, I had a passion for children with special needs. I had the opportunity to watch my close friend Becca grow up to become homecoming queen, and I cried as she walked the stage at graduation. Becca has always been an inspiration to my peers, my teachers, and myself. She has Down syndrome, and that does not stop her from dancing on the dance team and succeeding in school. I can only hope that my future students are as driven as Becca, and I hope that I can get my students to reach their full potential, just as Becca did. I will gear my lessons in order to benefit all students, whether it's general ed or inclusive classroom. Back in third grade, Becca would pull my hair on the bus and sometimes be overly aggressive when we were little. But I never gave up on being her friend, and I felt the need to help her in every way. This is an important aspect of being a special ed teacher. Teachers in this field need to withstand any potential challenges. They need to be able to push through the rough parts and patch them up with good things. That will make the lives of their students better in the long run. It is very important to build a strong foundation for elementary students with special needs so that they have a better chance of success in the future. These have been the moments that have inspired me to become a special ed teacher. Teaching is not a job for those who cannot decide what they want to do. And it is not something to settle on. Teaching is a profession that requires dedicated, passionate, and inspired people who are willing to put their whole heart into what they do. I want my students to be confident that they can succeed in whatever they decide to pursue. I want my students to be able to express their creativity while learning so that they enjoy every minute of it. I want to be a role model for the kids who don't have one at home. All of these goals drive me to give my education my all. Teachers have the success of future generations in the palm of their hands.